one of the topics that I think we should look at is also social media. I think when we're talking about ways in which children, young people, adults communicate, what do we think the wider impact of social media is? I'm going to start this and then make my way around. Social media now is very much a fabric of our, our life and it's not going anywhere. I think it just people need to learn to manage it correctly. I find social media can obviously be like, it can be good, but I think it can also be really bad. And I think that, you know, it's actually, it's glamorised a lot of the things like knife crime, for example, like drill music. I do think it glamorises knife crime. People, I think, go on social media and they see things and they're not filtered, like, it's not filtered out just because of your age, so they're probably seeing, like, knives being advertised to them and, you know, they're seeing people with, like, ballys on and, honestly, it's, it's, I think it's really toxic. Yeah. So, me personally, everyone's talked about destructive points about social media. It's destructive. I think it could be constructive too, so you're talking about drill music. Music is a way of expression, isn't it? Yeah. That young person's already ever lived that. It's upon the viewer and the person taking in that content to then take it literal or to take it as entertainment. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's where the lines drew. And that's where social media it can be a powerful tool, you know. It can be very powerful. I reach out, like young people have reached out to me on social media wanting to change their life. Young people I would have never met before, or never spoken to before. But I also think it can be a destructive tool. Waving a knife in a music video, yeah, nah, nah. I shoot music videos, someone started waving a knife at my set, I'm sorry, I'm taking full payment, going home, you're not getting your music video, like, that's gonna be your punishment for waving that knife, simple. Um, so it can be destructive, yeah. I think it can be constructive too. I think it can be a it's, very it's, good It's a tool. challenge and it's crazy because I research this area about social it's media, tool you that mentioned needs to be music, utilized. and I think when we're talking about violence, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. There's so many levels to it because there's gonna be people that are watching this thinking, yeah, but, I like to make music and it is an expression. Yeah. Many of us yeah. that work on the other end are saying, yeah, but that expression is causing violence and potential beefs in the community. And if someone uploads a video onto YouTube mm -hmm. and then there's another small clip that ends up on um, Instagram, for example, that might cause some tensions within local communities. How do we really look at that? Because one of the other things we look at as well is we, we use the word exploitation today. There's a lot of record labels that are coming into the community, looking at these 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds and saying, we've got all of this cash. Mm -hmm. If you go into the music studio and rap these lyrics, you can potentially get some money for it. So the challenge is we look at young people and we blame them for the things that are promoted into the society. And our, the conversation here is about accountability. So now I want to throw in something else. Okay, okay. What about when you've got young people that may be neurodiverse, that may be autistic, ADHD, and there's loads of different disorders that are out there that a young person may home in on, onto that and they may not be able to see the differences between reality yeah, and what's on a social media platform. This is, what you're this about is the that. argument I've always had. There needs to be regulation. Yeah, there needs to be a, like, everyone says regulation. Yeah, Facebook's got regulation. You have to be 13. Well, did you have to use ID when you signed up for your Facebook? No, did you? No. Did you? Because I didn't. So how do you know the person's actually 13? Because I had Facebook at the age of 11. Mark Zuckerberg, please don't destroy my account. But like, seriously, it's, it's regulation needs to be there. And for those who are neurodiverse, there should be appropriate adults around them. And the thing is like, I know now from having children, I can set things on my on their iPads, on their phones, that give them a set amount of time. They're allowed to access things. Wi-Fi companies have started bringing out a thing where you can block Wi-Fi on your children's device past the, the time of eight o'clock. So you can limit you what their- You can get YouTube kids as well. Thing no. is you can funnel things, you can funnel things. And that's what social media needs to go. Cause it, as you says, it's a part of life now. It's, it's intermittent. It's, it's something that's not going. We're not getting rid of it. We're not going to be able to say, oh yeah, social media needs, needs to be gone. Let's, let's be done with it. It's not going to go. We need to regulate it.